Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how I monitor my Unify network using Prometheus and Grafana with Unify Polar running fully inside a Docker on a Proxmox. Let's get started. <laughs> This is my Proxmox screen dashboard. As you can see, I'm running a Debian based LXE container where I have uh, installed lots of apps. So here you can see the Prometheus and the Grafana and the Unify Polar. It is a uh, very lightweight. As you can see, uh, you can see the status uptime. Right now, this is dashboard of the Unify Polar and this is the uh, Prometheus health status. As you can see the endpoint and the you know, target health. So this is the Unify polar endpoint this is the prometheus endpoint and this is the c advisor so from here you can see i'm running a docker container so this is the endpoint where you can see all uh, i mean the cpu memory all endpoint it has been uh, taking on the unify polar and i mean the grafana dashboard it is exporting on that under the dashboard i have a lots of uh, i mean uh, grafana dashboard running so let me show you about uh, each to dashboard so first of all we will take a look into the unify polar unify ap so here you can see the users how many users are connected as of now so 16 users are connected and you can see this is the clients or the channel you can see with the different color each channel shows channel 1 uh, channel 40 and this is the ap radios it will show you each ap radios right i have a uk ultra u7 pro uap ac light on this side so you can see uh, with the yellow color it's showing uh, wi-fi 0 ng and uh, wi-fi 1 ac standard and ax also even the u7 pro has a uh, 6 gigahertz as you can see uh, wi-fi 7 which is b so all radio uh, standard it shows and you can uh, see that and even it will show you the client mac oui so here you can find it out uh, depending on the mac uh, of that client it uh, i mean give you a graph of that uh, so you can see uh, this is e there are two l clients on that e ubiquity inc so depending on that it filter out uh, this is like uh, a breakdown of oui i mean uh, the client devices mo make model of that client so after that you can check uh, the list of access point what ip address max model and uh, mac address and the serial number and here you can see the uptime of that uh, also how many bytes uh, that uh, access point has been uh I mean using like a uh, download and upload so you can check that and this is the ESSID and BSSID so each uh, Unify network running um, SSID on that uh, so you can uh, check each SSID I have office SSID IOT office camera Wi-Fi 6 depending on that you can check the AP name radio how much uh, the client signal average you can check for uh, like uh, it shows a uh, uh, minus 85 db what the rx drop tx drop and how many bytes it sent and receive so it you can filter it out with each access point depending with each radios so here also you will see the uap cpu usage uh, so you can check for the uk ultra cpu usage uap ac light you can check the graph of each access point and how much memory has been used by each access point you can check for uh, u7 pro you you can turn the uap ac light so you can check here for uh, max uh, 50 percent 44.2 percent 46.6 percent and this is the load average how much load uh, it is on each access point so you can check for the load so this graph i mean it is uh, refreshing in one minute and this uh, is a uh, so you can refresh from here it is a refresh last three hours so you can check the load for each access point also depending on the uh, time also it started from 15 23 o'clock 20 i mean uh, 3 30 till now you can see it's a uh, uh, 624 so you can check the three hours stats and this is the clients count for a, each access point so uk ultra there was a 11 users u7 pro uapac light you can check 
so this is the user count uh, last max and minimum count uh, so after that this is uh, the wireless traffic as a vendor specific so you can check uh, for the tx rx for each uh, wireless uh, devices so here is a li list you can see apple devices uh, this is uh, some manufacturer devices hp raspberry pi uh, you can uh, check for each uh, uh, wireless traffic per vendor this is the average ap client signal so here you can uh, take a look for each ap signal last uh, signal max and the minimum so here you can just check for each ap so it shows in minus dbm value so you can check for each access point uh, on the wi-fi 7 i mean broad idea of your uh, existing uh, wi-fi clients connected on your network so you can set up on uh, on your uh, client network also to get full data so this is this average ap client rssi so you can check for each ap rssi so it set a threshold val value on that so you can uh, it count an average ap of each client rssi so uh, for UAP AC Lite and the U7 Pro and the UK Ultra, you can check that. And here is a 5 gigahertz client connection quality also. So you can check for each AP quality of, uh, oh, oh, I mean, how does it perform on 5 gigahertz client? And this is the 2.4 gigahertz client uh, uh, connection quality. And here it is a channel utilization on the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz channel utilization. You can take a look for that. And this is a Traffic starts for 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. This is a 5 gigahertz packet. 2.4 gigahertz packet. You can take a look for each access point. So this will give you, I mean, overall all uh, dashboard uh, insights of uh, the access point. Similarly, let me show you for the client insights. So this is will show you the list of clients, uh, uh, the wired as well as the wireless. So you can. Uh, check for each client what how much byte it receive send and what channel they are connected what ssid what ap radio and the uptime for each client you can check that similarly for the wired devices right now uh, each wired devices you can see the vendor also here i'm using q logic uh, 10g card on the super micro server so it reported that and you can check the uptime uh, how much byte it receive data send uh, similarly for each client's channel you can check so it shows the same thing and the switch bandwidth uh, uh, or, or wire traffic and this does not populate because it shows a client bandwidth uh, depends echoes and fire tvs i don't have that here you can check the uh, receive uh, signal strength indicator for each of the clients i mean this is how similar to that of i mean the uap insights uh, but here it uh, shows for the client inside for each client are connected on the wireless and the wired also you can check for each uh, satisfaction of clients and all data how many times it roams from one ap and here you can check the client connection quality in percentage also what's the percentage of the client connection quality after that uh, let me show you the dashboard of uh, we have seen the uap inside network sites so it shows you i mean how many access point you have switch you have what's the stations so it will uh, give you just stats of that after that we will take a look into the unify switch inside device level uh, so this is the unify switch i have the list of unify switches so i have choose unify enterprise 8 poe because it has a temperature also that's why you can see the temperature uh, degree celsius also what the cpu usage of the switch and the load average and the poe budget also this is a poe switch so 120 watt is a poe budget and how much poe bu budget is used and the switch traffic download and the switch traffic upload and this is a switch uh, uptime uh, in seconds you can take a look into that if we check for the other switch also it shows no data for here because uh, this is aggregation switch does not have uh, any time uh, i mean temperature sensor even it does not uh, support poe so you can look for the cpu usage uh, traffic download upload and uh, we'll take a look of the U unified 24 standard poe switch it has a poe budget of 95 watt it does not have any temperature sensor it is fanless so you can see the cpu usage load average 
switch traffic download upload and what's the uptime similarly i have a flex uh, mini switch 2.5 you can see the cpu usage load average. it does not have any poe it does not have any uh temperature sensor also so you can see the switch traffic download and switch traffic upload and this is the uptime so now we will take a look into the uxg pro so this is the uxg pro dashboard where you can see the cpu uh, uh, usage in percent 14.6 percent cpus and this is the load average and this is the gateway it says one and here you can see the temperature starts uh, and you can see the graph chart has been increased from here right like now it, it says around 50 degrees celsius and this is the van throughput download as well as upload so you can check for the upload of a van download and upload so this was uh, the grafana dashboard overview for uh, each of the unified devices uh, uh, using unify polar so all you just need to do is uh, in the unify dashboard you have to i mean um, uh, you have to create an uh, read only access admin here so i have created a grafana as an uh, admin uh, you can see i have given him uh, a local credential access uh, so and that will be uh, that that is pulling the data with the help of unify polar on this grafana dashboard unify gives you live stat but once you want long term trends like van spikes po history or per ap analytics it falls short so here is a simple diagram where unify polar act as a bridge between unify and prometheus and grafana visualize everything this was my monitoring tool i have just started it running on my network so i can use it on my client network also so i have installed on the proxmox as you have seen that uh, it can show you all the data of your client wi-fi even the wired devices like the switch and the gateway uxg pro i have set up on my network i can use it on my client network if they want or if they required uh, these type of dashboard it is very helpful to monitor all your networks let me know in the comments if you like this video and if you want a full setup on this uh, let me know in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next video